Yo, what's up Game Leapers? Coach Cheeks back again, and like yesterday's video, we have a red hot countdown for you today, and we're going to be covering the 15 best mid laners of 11.1. Now this patch saw some important changes to items that are commonly built by a lot of mid champions, so to know which of these are stronger than others and who is free LP for the next couple of weeks, make sure you stick around until the end. Now guys, I want to know how much you think mid lane actually matters. Now personally, as a jungle main, if my mid laner is checking to see if pro guides advertise in our latest video again, and not focusing on the game, I can't play. It's as simple as that. You might be an ADC main who gets killed by the enemy Zed more than you do their actual bot lane, or a top laner who has to deal with a twisted fate ulting non-stop on top of you. Let me know in the comments. Now before we get our teeth into the juicy content guys, I'd love it if you could check out our website gameleap.com. Not because it helps me out in any way, because it helps you out. We have the best courses, the best guys, the best VOD analysis in town, so if you want to learn what the rank 1 players do that you don't, head on over there at the end of the video. Links as always in the description and comment section. Alright, let's get into it and starting us off we have Morgana and if you don't have time to play a high skill cap champion then Morg is the pick for you. She's easy and more importantly strong. Eh, but what are you talking about Coach Cheese? Right nerfed her W last patch man. And? Guys, the thing is you can still wave clear as well as anyone, and one of the biggest things you've got going for you is you are a great cuck to popular mid lane assassins. You have your soul shackles for AD champions like Yasuo, Zed, Talon, and then you have your black shield for AP champions like Fizz, Arkali, and Echo. Now the later the game goes as well, the better it is, and most games in lower elos you will make it to 4-5 items. Your mythic Leandri's Anguish with Demonic Embrace and a couple of other AP items is deadly. You shrift through tanks and one dark binding onto an enemy carry, they are dead. Coming in next guys at number 14 we have Diana and a few of you were asking for Diana buffs in our top champions video. Were you guys under the influence when you typed that? I'm just messing around of course but Diana is legit good right now. I understand most Diana mains don't like the way she is and you'll have to leave a comment letting me know exactly what's up but as a burst assassin there are not many better. Now unfortunately Night Harvester's damage got nerfed late game so yes you are not as strong as before but you spike harder earlier because its base AP is now higher and you have more health so when mid game comes around you are the biggest threat on the map. Now a little tip for you guys is to time your third basic attack on the enemy mid laner and this is your passive where you cleave nearby enemies. The auto attack the minions twice and then Q E onto your opposite number and you will win trades like no tomorrow. Now we've got a bit of crossover action for our 13th pick guys and this spot belongs to Aurelia who featured in our best top laners video yesterday. Of course check that out if you haven't already otherwise I'll bring back my muffled mic. Now back in 1025 your base attack damage increased by 2 and your Q cooldown as well got reduced by a second at each rank. Now for mid laner rally in particular, these mean a lot. Now remember, this extra damage gets put into your abilities and auto attacks, which are a massive part of your kit. Your incredibly strong early game is now out of this world. If you do happen to misplay or mistime your blade surge, the lower cooldown gives you a better chance of escaping a bad situation and fighting more often, which is yeah, what you're made for. And now because mid laners are squishier than top laners, it's a lot easier for you to secure kill after kill in the first 5-10 to 10 minutes, and I've seen this many times. When I press tab and see that enemy Aurelia with CS per min and a 10 minute balk, my heart sinks. Alright up next we have Annie and if you want the biggest level 6 kill potential champion on the rift then Annie is who you want to start playing. Now Annie has held one of the highest win rates for the last few patches especially in lower levels of play and one of the main reasons for that is the synergy you have with Luden's Tempest and Sorcerer's Shoes. You have amazing base damages and scaling ratios and the magic pen works wonders with both. Another reason this combo is so deadly is because of the movement speed from Luden's so one tip you can apply straight away in your games is to last hit a minion with your Q to get that movement speed and use this to gap close to the enemy champion. These days you don't have to flash to get off a match winning tivers, do so with this movement speed passive guys and you will take off. Coming in at number 11 we have Pantheon and if you want an easy to play AD mid laner you will not find better than the spear shield and pecs of Panth. What do you reckon he benches? Now guys you can put this big chest of yours to action against champions that are very easily one shottable. I mean you're not going to run into many tanks if any. You can flash W on your opponent's head level 2 and kill them, you can set up kills with your jungler because of your point and click stun and after crushing your mid lane you can take this lead to other parts of the map. There's a reason why AD carries just love playing against fed pantheons so pay them a visit after level 6 to know what I'm talking about. Okay we're into the top 10 guys and at number 10 we have Victor. Oh and I'd love to know what you think of our picks as well so make sure to get your typewriter going in the comments. Now Victor is one of the strongest battle mages in the game at the moment and he has great success in lower elos because you can just press R to win fights. Alright it's not that simple but the point here guys is that against enemy teams that group and fight non-stop, Victor shines 
because of your insane AoE. Once you evolve your basic abilities, you become the biggest and baddest force on the map. And if you do get in trouble, you have decent self-peel with your W and movement speed from Ludens and your Q. He's a little harder to play for sure, and if you're starting out playing him, go into your hotkeys and normal cast your E. You can thank me later. Now, the number 9 spot in our countdown, guys, is held by Kassanen, who is kind of flying under the radar, to be honest, so now is a great time to play him. Now, the thing is that the new tier is amazing on him. It only costs 400 gold, and it's all you need for your scaling. This then means that you can build for the matchups you are in. For example, you can rush a Zonyas right off the rip into typically hard AD matchups like Zed, Talon, Pantheon, and it's only 2,500 gold. Now, you might be wondering why rushing a Mythic first is bad then. Well, it's not that it's bad, it's just that in some matchups where you can get killed early on, Leandris or Ludens offers no survivability. You're as squishy as squishy gets, and one death will lead to plenty more. Kassa has over a 56% win rate in Master above, guys, so why not? Alright, next on the list, guys, we have Mauzaha, and when I say press R to win, I'm not trolling this time around. It is, in fact, that simple. If you've got one hand on the TV remote or one hand somewhere else, yeah, that got weird. Mauzaha is the perfect pick. Your passive is a great protector. You can just press E on a minion and the wave will shove itself. And when level 6 comes around, you can lock down a champion better than anyone else. And how good is this against popular mids like Yasuo, Fizz, and all them? Once you get your Leandri's Anguish, you can dish out a crazy amount of damage. And keep in mind that you're also great at taking Barons and Dragons. Okay, at number 7 Game Leapers, we have the number 1 pick from 1025B, and that's Talon. So what's changed? you ask? Well, enough for you to no longer be the best mid. Now, if you are building Dustblade, its passive damage got hit pretty hard, so you have Let's Burst, but the better build is actually to go Bruiser Talon with a Gore Drink, a Ravenous Hydra, and Black Cleaver. Yes, it's pretty whack, but the thing is, guys, the Gore Drink to sustain got hit too. So both builds for Talon are a little worse, while other mid lane mythics improved. The Talon has gone down, these others, and we're about to find out who they are, have gone up. Coming in next, guys, at number 6 is Galio, and the rest of the countdown we went through in our top champions video a few days ago, so we are going to smash through the top of the order. Before doing so, I'd again like to invite you to click on one of our website links in the description or comment section to check out what I go on about in every video. You know what's so special about it? I'm on it, that's why. But guys, the hundreds of challenger courses, guys, and videos we have to offer are the dogs you know what. You're not going to find better. Alright, back to Galio, and I said the other day that when you build Rocket Bell, Zonyas, and Morellos in high elo, you win over 80% of games. Now, there are a couple of details you have to know about before running it down in ranked. Be careful when using your Colossal Smash on towers. You do more damage to them, but you can hit enemy champions that are nearby, and this will draw turret aggro, so keep that in mind. And the second one is that you can no longer taunt Flash. So when you charge up your W and taunt the ground, don't get mad when you get spam pinged. The top 5 guys we have arrived and number 5 is Yasuo and Yone. Now these two half brothers have come leaps and bounds since that Ginsu's Rage Blade interaction was changed and are now within a sniff of the top spot. Now this patch both received changes, in other words, huge buffs, because your 2 item power spike is bigger than my forehead. You just need 40% crit now to get 100% via your passive, so you can build an immortal shield bow and infinity edge for example, and you're stronger than everyone. That 0-10 power spike everyone memes about, guys I'm not kidding, you will be able to 1v1 champion once you get a couple of crit items into you. Up next at the number 4 spot guys, we have Anivia, and I'm sure you've heard it enough from me that she is the best control mage in League, and one of the best champions in general. All of the recent changes Riot made to her have made her nutty. Your auto attacks are quicker, you can now frostbite champions who have been touched by your Q, not just stunned, and your ultimate in the late game can be on a half a second cooldown when you have some ability haste in your inventory. The 1025 hotfix nerfs dialed back a tiny bit of power, but nowhere near enough. Here we go guys, the top 3 and the bronze medalist for the best mid laners in 11-1 is Katarina because you have some of the highest DPS on the rift. Whether you decide to go AD or AP, you are arguably the best 1v9a in all of League, but you have to know a couple of things. Auto attacks are crucial, especially in the early lane, and your Shumpo resets your auto attack, so weave these in between your combos. Also, if you didn't already know, you can actually Shumpo over walls by Wing as close as possible to that structure and Eing on the outer part of the dagger you drop. This will help you secure kills and escape ganks throughout a game. Alright guys, the runner-up, the number 2 spot is held by Echo, and this patch, my god, you guys are going to run riot. Now the first key to playing a clean Echo is to master the EQ combo, and all you have to do is this. As soon as you press E, you press Q, and this resets your second E so you can dash to your target almost instantly. 
Once you have that muscle memory down pat guys, this is a piece of cake. And another tip I want to give you is to play hella aggressive when you have your ultimate. Once you get ability haste and levels, it is on a very low cooldown so make the most of it. Dive onto that enemy backline and cause havoc. This is it, the number one, the best mid laner in 11-1 and like I did for our top lane video, I'm not actually going to do a who am I reveal for this one because this champion was number one in our top chance video and that is Fizz. Now cooldown Fizz guys is even more broken this patch. The extra haste in your lucidity boots gives you a better early game and Zonya's is still a cheap as 2500 gold. Just be careful when using your E in the first few levels because you are very killable without but guys once you get to level 6 the game is yours thanks so much for watching the video please leave a like and subscribe and turn on all notifications if you haven't already this has been coach Eggs, and until next time peace